the hybrid involves two characters which carried by two pairs of homologous chromosome. During meiosis, allele of a pair of chromosome will randomly assort or independently pair to allele of another pair of chromosome. So at the end of meiosis, four types of gametes will be produced. This example involves two characters. R is for color, T is for height. Homozygous red flower tall plant is crossed with homozygous white flower short plant. Both parents are true breeding plant. This is the arrangement of homologous chromosome as in metaphase 1. In anaphase 1, homologous chromosome will separate. In anaphase 2, sister chromatid will separate. At the end of this process, each parent will produce one type of gamete. Fertilization of gametes will produce offspring which are red flower and tall plant. Both characteristics are heterozygous. F1 plants will self-pollinate to produce F2. Because both parents have same genotype, so they will produce same types of gametes. The chromosome undergo independent assortment during metaphase 1. Dominant allele R may pair with dominant allele T. Recessive allele R may pair with recessive allele T. Or recessive allele R will pair with dominant allele T. Dominant allele R will pair with recessive allele T. In anaphase 1, homologous chromosome separate. In anaphase 2, sister chromatid separate. At the end of meiosis, each parent will produce four types of gametes. The Punnett square can be used to determine the possibilities of the offspring.
this is the gamete for one parent and then this is the other gamete for the second parent. The gamete will be fertilized to produce 16 possibilities of spring. These are all 16 possible genotype of the offspring produced from the self-cross of F1 generation. From this Punnett square, there are 9 great flower tall plant. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There are 3 red flower short plant. 1, 2, 3. There are three white flower tall plant. One, two, three. And one white flower short plant. From the Punnett square, we can determine the genotype ratio of the F2 offspring. They are nine red flower tall plant which consists of four types of genotypes. Three red flower short plant which consists of two types of genotype. Three white flower tall plant which consists of two types of genotype and one white flower short plant which consists of only one genotype so this this is the genotype ratio for the f2 offspring and this is the phenotype ratio for the f2 offspring the phenotype ratio for the f2 offspring is nine red flower tall plant three red flower short plant three white flower tall plant and one white flower short plant
in F1 test cross, the F1 offspring, which is heterozygous, is crossed with homozygous recessive plants. During metaphase 1, the homologous chromosome will assort independently. Heterozygous parents will produce four types of gametes, while homozygous parents will produce one type of gamete. For the heterozygous parent, will produce four types of gamete. The dominant allele R can assort with dominant allele T, recessive allele R, assort with recessive allele T, or recessive allele R assort with dominant allele T, and dominant allele R assort with recessive allele T. During meiosis 1 or anaphase 1, the homologous chromosome will separate. During anaphase 2, the sister chromatid will separate. So for this heterozygous parent will produce four types of gamete. For homozygous recessive parents only form one type of gamete. During anaphase 1, homologous chromosome separate. During anaphase 2, sister chromatid separate. So, from this process, we can, we can see that only one type of gamete is produced from homozygous recessive plant. Fertilization of gamete will produce four different combinations. The genotype ratio for F2 offspring is 1 to 1 to 1 to 1. The phenotype ratio for the offspring is 1 red tall plant, 1 red short plant, 1 white tall plant, and 1 white short plant.